shielding. Such a simple, effective, but underused tactic in both the attack and in the defense. This is my complete guide to shielding in FIFA 22. Three men, three men around him and somehow find some space for another fantastic the drive back! He's made himself the tiniest bit of space! Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him! Oh! It's a display game. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god! Oh my The finest. We talked about this in FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. First of all, to shield in FIFA 22, it's the same as every other year, lads. You just need to hold down L2 on the PS5 or LT on the Xbox, and the player will protect the ball when they have it at their feet, or even if they are contesting for the ball. Shrugging off the defender who is attempting to get the ball off you. This is a very, very good way of protecting the ball and also keeping the defender away from the ball at your feet. I find whether you're sprinting or just left stick dribbling, if you just tap or even hold the L2 button, your player will protect the ball and will prevent the defender from getting that ball. Such a useful technique in the midfield as well as when you are in behind on goal and you have that centre back trying to get the ball off you to try and prevent that counter attack you can tap l2 once or twice and your attacker will basically shrug off the defender to continue running on goal so not only is it very useful in protecting the ball in the midfield but it's also super useful in situations where you are in behind on goal in fifa 22. Another technique or situation where you might want to use this is when you have, let's say, the ball with your centre back and you realise the attacker is right on you and you're not sure what to do, you can hold shield to basically block that ball. It's similar to, as I was saying, when you have multiple defenders around you. It's also a very good technique of keeping possession in FIFA 22 because it will allow you to keep the ball more often than not if you weren't shielding because you will be able to tussle off that defender and prevent him from getting the tackle in and you turning over possession in vulnerable positions. Receiving the ball with your striker and utilizing shield to hold up the ball. Such a good way of keeping the defender away from the ball and also keeping your back towards that defender so that you don't give away the ball cheaply in a very key situation where you might just get that opportunity to get a shot off. This is very good for obviously holding up the ball and looking for a subsequent pass afterwards or even holding up the ball, a subsequent skill move to then try and beat the defender to then get that shot off. And the way you do this is simply passing the ball into your attacker, holding down shield as you receive that ball to keep the ball away from the defender and shield him from getting it. Utilizing shield as a touch. Very good way of pressing the ball into your feet and not taking a big touch out in front of you to give the ball away. This is very useful as I was saying in the defense when you're not sure where the ball's going to fall. You realize it's fallen to your defender but you're not sure what to do next. You can hold down shield. It's also very useful when you're in the attack and you have multiple defenders surrounding you and you're not sure what to do next. You can hold down shield to muscle off the defender who is near you to block the defender from getting the ball and then reassess what you're going to do next to basically make a pass, make a play, or take that shot. You can either hold the shield button when you take the touch to continuously shield, or you can just tap it. And that will allow you to caress the ball into the player's feet without taking a large touch. And then you can reassess what you want to do next. And then you can continue on with your attack. Utilizing shield in contested aerial battles, very, very good way of winning headers in FIFA 22. I briefly went into this in my how to win headers more in FIFA 22 episode. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. But basically, when you hold shield and you're going up for that header, you will have a greater chance at winning the ball because the attacker or defender, whoever's trying to win that header, will try and tussle off the opponent who is next to him to try and get in front of him and get that header off. EA have actually advanced this technique with high promotion this year in the new animations where they have allowed stronger and taller players to win more aerial battles, especially if you're holding shield. So there you have it lads, my quick but sweet but complete tutorial on how to shield or utilize shielding in FIFA 22. I hope you enjoyed it. Can we smash a like, drop a sub and check me out on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter doing tutorials over there lads so go and check them out and keep in touch with me over on those platforms but as always i hope you guys have a good day i'm out sayonara au revoir
Adios. Salam.